You were telling me that you got uh, raccoons. We should start with that, man. You got raccoons in a in a in a really nice house out, oh out there on Long Island. God, the compound has raccoons. You know, I've been defending against the wrong thing for so many years, <laughs> and uh, raccoons have uh, have taken up residence in my attic. That might just be a little karma, man. You think? Well, you make fun of raccoons all the time. Oh, yeah, I, and now I've all of a sudden you got they... raccoons in your in your in your what in your attic? Well, in my attic, at first they've been uh, knocking over mailboxes, driving through people's backyards. <laughs> they've been uh, knocking over my uh, garbage pails and foraging through my garbage, and uh, you know that's uh, really fucking annoying. Mm -hmm. But at least they're not in the house. Now I noticed this kind of weird. If if the uh, the bedroom gets warm. It's this weird, musty oh, smell. Shit. And I'm like, I am not into fucking smells. You're changing the sheets, right, after oh, af after yeah. these weekends? Oh, of course. After these weekends of Changing yours? them. I throw them out. All right, good. Uh, I, I think that's the raccoons marking their territory. I'm, I'm no expert, but I think they have fig they have basically said to themselves, this is our house. This and, is ours. And we, now to, we need to mark everything. Well, so, they have. So other uh, raccoons and other things don't live here. They absolutely have. They went upstairs. Uh, you sure they're not wandering around your house? No, just, the the, just the attic. Look for droppings. Just the attic. I, I did, and uh, the exterminator did. Oh, okay. Because I had an exterminator come over. Lickety split. Of course. Yesterday. And uh, he went through the attic and said, yeah, there's uh, droppings, which is shit. Mm -hmm. I got raccoon shit in my attic. But the guy's up there. The raccoons have to be up there. No, not, not in the uh, daytime. Where the fuck are they going during the daytime? I don't they know. They always say if you see a raccoon during the daytime, he's sick. Yeah, but then at night, like in the morning, they'll leave. They like have a schedule, like nah, me. Nah, you sure they're leaving? Yes, they leave in the morning. They go out. They do their shit. Then they fucking like, but, I don't know what they do. But they they're go nocturnal. Somewhere. They do all their shit in the night. Yeah, but they like they they leave at like five in the morning. They leave the house. That's what this they, guy's telling they you. They come in like yeah, and then they're in and out during the night. Maybe they got a summer home doing their shenanigans. <laughs> Maybe they do. <laughs> what are they doing? Maybe they're at a neighbor's house. Shit, dude, you might have sick raccoons if they're leaving no. in the morning. No. <laughs> or or maybe they're going to another part of the house. Uh, no, I haven't seen any evidence of raccoons. In the house. This is really strange. The exterminator went up and found uh, droppings. And uh, he. Uh, How many does he think are living up in the attic? I don't know, a couple. A couple, but a couple. then they have a, little, a few little ones probably. When, when I walked out one day about a month and a half ago, I found a little raccoon walking across the, uh, the lawn. And he was looking at me as he's walking, and then he gives me this passing look like, what the fuck are you doing in my house? Mm -hmm. That's how he looked at me. Yeah. And uh, now I gotta I, I gotta deal with this. So I set uh, well the, the exterminator set up traps around the garbage where they usually uh, fuck around. And then uh, the exterminator's coming back with a ladder that he didn't have a big tall ladder to look up where he thinks they're getting in. So he's got to seal that shit up. Why can't catch they, him? Why can't they just seal houses, especially new ones when I, they're building I know. them? I know. What do you mean he's gonna he he sees where they're coming in? He thinks that should might never be happen. A place where that round turrety thing right. meets the square roof, which you know, I want to kill my builder for a That's fucking uh, a design flaw. Leaving that yeah. has to be right. Yeah, it's got to be. So they're, Is they're by a there. tree, by like by, or they go up to the roof no, and find they'll, it. They'll climb up anything. Those things they'll use anything to climb up. They're amazing, little magical creatures. Are they as bad as possums though? Like or as as as, as disgusting as possums? Uh, yeah, they're just. I don't think so. Right? Really... They're, they're cute. They're, is the problem. The problem is they're cute, but I I would imagine they do a hell of a lot more damage than possums. Destructive shit oh, okay. like that. You could run over a possum and it'll pretty much just keep walking. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> they are. I've, I've run over a possum before. Ugh. Horrible things. Just the thud it makes. Call them a possum or an old possum? Huh? Uh, do you call them possums or old possum? Old possum. I hate the O in front. I saw an old possum. <laughs> so I have trap set, and uh, so last night before I go to bed, I figure let me check the trap. I go out there. Isn't that creepy checking traps though? Yeah, a little when I was bit. catching mice in my old apartment, it was always creepy to go check the traps. Check the trap. Well, That's... these are humane traps. Aw, you so should they, get a bear trap. They catch them, and they they catch them in those little, uh, you know, wire traps. Right. And then things like, 
like hisses at you and gets all pissed off. Yeah. And I poke at him with a stick and then throw the trap in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I check the trap and I see uh, these shiny eyes looking back at me. And you're like, Damn, and the trap is one. shut. I'm like, you got a nice. So as I walk up, there's there's a little kitty in my trap. Oh, a kitty cat. There he is. There's a picture of the kitty cat. So now I had to figure out how this trap works and open it up, and the kitty was hissing and all pissed off. Was so, he scared, you think? Oh, he was petrified. Poor little guy. So I opened it up, and he darted out and, and left, and then I reset it. Have you ever seen that cat before, though? No. Like, is it your neighbor's cat? I don't know where it came from. Fuck, dude. Animals fucker. are just taking over your backyard when it's you're not, suburbia. When you're they're, not around. They're everywhere. Uh, I swear I'm going to get a pellet gun, little fuckers. But uh, then I set it. So this morning when I leave, I got to check the trap. Mm -hmm. It's open. The food's there. The raccoon didn't go in. No. The dumb cat's going to be in there, I bet, when I get back uh, home. Of course. Raccoons, uh, I hear, are really, really smart. They're very clever is what it is. They're clever. They get into anything. No matter what kind of garbage pill you have, mm -hmm. uh, they, they get in it. And my garbage is usually spilled all over the side of the house. You're going to have to throw your house away. You know that. No. If you fucking threw a couch away because of a lousy little booger from a little kid, I think you ha you might have to throw the entire house away now. Well, it's it's not it's not that bad. It's being worked on. It's being fixed. It's being cleaned. Everything's being done. I, I just I got to get rid of these. So I, I told people I had uh, uh, raccoons in my house. R raccoons. Raccoons. Yeah, I used an apostrophe. Raccoons. And, of course, they made all types of inappropriate jokes on Twitter about that. Did that make you happy? Uh, <laughs> yes, it kind of did. Right. Let's they be honest with each other. That made you really happy, didn't but it? I, but I said, I go, look, let, all right, let the obvious jokes begin mm -hmm. to try to weed out the, the more obvious ones. But some people came up with some clever, uh, clever little jokes. I was surprised. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that was, um, that was great, having the ex exterminator over. And the only reason they found that is because the AC guys were up there fixing my bedroom air conditioner. And they, they discovered all this? And, yeah, they said, uh, you've got a raccoon problem. I'm like, Wait, Exterminator, man. call them. Wait, uh, yeah, you, had a, you were saying you had an AC problem yesterday. I yeah. don't know if you said that on the air, so maybe the raccoons caused that. Um, no, that was caused by a blocked uh, just, coil. Just a coincidence? Yeah, it froze you up. You sure it wasn't the raccoons just peeing on everything? Just pissing on my air conditioning unit? No, I think I would have smelt that coming out of the unit. It was a frozen coil, and uh, the, the fan was blowing and had nowhere to send the air. Right. So the, the uh, fan got overheated and burnt out, because I kind of smelled something burning. Mm. Uh, let's go to Bob ass. on Long Island. Bobby! Hey there, yeah. Bab. You got something Barry. on this for Anthony? Yeah. Well, anybody that, uh, any exterminator that comes to your house without a ladder on the truck is not a, a true nuisance wildlife guy that, that's going to do this job right. He uh, uh, he did have a ladder. He didn't have a, a tall enough ladder. Didn't have a tall. Well, yeah. I, with the compound, I doubt he would. It's very tall. I have a, uh, I, I like the high ground. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, uh. You know that that addict needs to needs to have the raccoons exterminated. And if he told you they're not in there during the day, he's he's, he's wrong because that's what they do during the day. They they stay in the attics and uh, yeah, that's and what. Well, they maybe they're it. not. Maybe they're not in my attic during the day. But that's what's confusing. I I'm, I mean, most raccoons you know hang tight during the day. I've been up there during the day uh, in that attic and uh, nary saw uh, anything. And and you have a. Empty attic, right? Yeah, it's just the AC units. Is there any, like, holes or any other fucking little things in the attic they Bad could be going into? radio females. Huh? Bad radio females. Oh. <laughs> no? <laughs> See them out there. Oh, the little raccoon. Leave them alone. <laughs> hey, there's a hole up here. <laughs> <laughs> now, the, uh, yeah, I, I didn't see anything. No holes, no nothing. So, ah, so they're just not there. I don't know how the fuck they're getting in at this point, but uh, well, if uh, if you don't, you know, if you don't get him, if he doesn't get him. Um, I can leave my number, you know, when I get off the line, and uh, we can get over there and do this. Let's say hi Look to Larry and Yonkers. Trying to cock block my exterminator, Larry. Larry, what's going on, guys? What's up, hey, Larry? Man. I had a serious problem with raccoons this time last year, and here's how you do it, guys. Huh. The first thing is the bait in the trap. Raccoons' very favorite bait is marshmallows. Yeah. Skunks won't touch marshmallows. Possums won't touch marshmallows. 
You narrowed down your kill to your raccoon. Well, you there are marshmallows in my trap. Oh, so, so yes. you knew that already. Yeah. Here's what you got to do. you got to get a 55-gallon drum, fill it with water, put it in the backyard, have a heart trap, catch the raccoon, drop them in the drum for five minutes, you drown them, you put them in a garbage bag, and you throw them in a local dumpster. Nobody answers, no questions, no smell, no tell. You're a Some fucking tells serial me he killer. does this with hookers. No kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it begins. They're, 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 they got rabies, and they're in your attic. You sit to have a heart Scabies. attack. You go, yeah. You go at nighttime, drop them in the bucket. Five minutes, the bubbles come up, and they're yeah. smart little fuckers. They know you're going to drown them. Dude, even when I had to kill them. They know you're going to drown them. They even know a, you're going to drown them. Even when I had to kill mice with the electric trap, I was really bothered by that every morning. Let me, let me tell you mice. something. I, I, I can't kill things. Yeah. Let me tell you no. something, my friend. I don't have it in me. To look at a raccoon in the in his little masked face and dunk him in water to drown him for five minutes. I really look. I come off like a, an insufferable prick, but oh, I could no. never do that. Yeah, the raccoons are always the cute ones in those animated cartoons. You know? No, you can't. These liberal bastards won't do it. It's not about being liberal. You know, it's, it's the, about being a fucking human being. A lot of people Democrats. can't just fucking drown but, but a raccoon. That, this guy might be right though. I have the rest of your solution for you. you Want to keep him away? <laughs> you get a dead one, you dismember the body, you leave body parts around the compound, <laughs> see that, they will not come back. <laughs> I what? love this guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guy, I had little kids. I don't want rabbit huh? raccoons around a little kid. Oh, jeez, Uncle Paul. Paul. All right, I understand. What do you do if they misbehave? Drown them in a fucking a no, drum? No kidding, man. I, I understand that's I how you guess. took care of them, sir. But what I'm trying to say is the average person, uh, I don't think, could do what you just described. But Anthony's not the average person. He's a very unique. No, person. I don't think Anthony could fucking drown I animals. Could he, never he could do, do a that. lot of weird shit, but he's not gonna. He's not that guy that will go out there and drown animals. Uh, revolution. Uh, uh, I'm a school teacher, and I love kids, and I love animals. But do raccoons you? are a hazard around the house. Revolving monk wants to know if this is Colonel Kurtz on the phone. Yeah. <laughs> I do want to know what the exterminator is going to do when they catch the raccoons in the trap, though, because you They'll said let it's them go. A, it's a where though? Where do they let the raccoons go? It's in Long the Island country. Well, there's no country on Long Island. The guy's going to drive them upstate. I don't know what they do with them. To, no, you have to dismember one and leave it around the car. Oh, we heard you, Larry. It's very we disturbing for 6 fucking 20 in the morning. Easy. No oh, one's going to do that, Larry. No, no one's going <laughs> to do no that. No one is cutting up a raccoon and leaving body parts strewn about the yard. A pile and, and he's got of little baby kids. raccoon arms. <laughs> yeah, a little pun. If I had one division of men like that, does <laughs> our raccoon problems would be over here very quickly. <laughs> does, 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 your problem. That's the, how the raccoon laughs. Doesn't the body parts uh, horrify the kids when they're walking around your house? No, we don't do that here because we're in Westchester. It's too small uh, an area. But that's what they do in Dutchess County. Put you put a raccoon head on a pike in uh, front of the tail, house. A tail, a foot, you know, something like that. They know. They're very smart. They recognize those body parts. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, Larry, what do you do for a living? I'm a school teacher. He's a teacher. How oh, you perfect. Did, you did say that. I'm uh, sorry. I don't blame great. you then. You have to deal with those little fuckers every yeah. day. You probably have to get a little of that anger out at home. Huh? <laughs> have, you, have you ever cut off a little raccoon foot, Larry? No, no. I, I have good, I'm have i an automotive teacher. I have kids that are they, they, they want to be there. All right, Larry. It was a dumb little joke. All right? If we <laughs> yeah, relax. Yeah. Larry's, Larry's a weirdo. Yeah. Larry's wound very tight. You're yeah. a weirdo. <laughs> It wasn't supposed to bring down the house. It was just supposed to be a quick little chuckle. <laughs> Get a hold of yourself. Yeah, you really are panicking, Larry. All right, Larry. Anything else? No, that's it, guys. Have a great day. All right, Larry Thank from you. Yonkers. Uh, that's a fine phone call, though. Larry's a creep. <laughs> that's a <laughs> fine <laughs> phone call. I bet you right now, Larry has a raging heart on. <laughs> just thinking of those little fucking raccoon body parts Dicing all over. Dicing up raccoons. <laughs> yeah, raccoon feet. <laughs> uh, let's go to Stryker. Stryker. Oh, maybe you can help. Hey, uh, oh, can't. Anthony, oh. I'm just hoping that you don't catch Opie in that trap with the marshmallow. Oh, now. Like he'd try to pick him up with his hiney. <laughs> All right, I did pick up marshmallows with my hiney. What homosexual uh, activity have you done, Stryker? Uh, none. Well, I mean, uh, you, you had to have done something like picking up marshmallows with your, with your ass. No. no, I haven't. Nothing, huh? Nothing. I can honestly say that... Uh, mm. Yeah, that's a one-way uh, that, that, that's a, a one -way route. Oh, I see jokes being made about Larry here. Yeah. It rubs the lotion on its pelt. It does this whenever <laughs> it's told. <laughs> Larry <laughs> wants to drown raccoons. <laughs> that's funny. Put the fucking raccoon in the 55-gallon drum. <laughs> Thank you, Striker. Hey, uh, yeah, yeah. What? Hey, uh, 
Anthony, you know, raccoons like alcohol, too. You know, maybe uh, you have to keep her around. They could uh, party with you. Oh, shit. Mm. Maybe that's it. Maybe they're uh, getting in my tap. That might be where they're at during the day. You better uh, check on your uh, outflow there of, uh, of... Oh, my God. All right. Thank you, Striker. Jesus. Steve in South Carolina. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> oh, God. Yo, tell them about the raccoon, Larry. See, everyone's very excited that you have raccoons, Anthony. Yes, they're very excited. They all want to help on the phone. What and they say? love using the coon line. Yes, yes. They love saying, I have a coon problem. Because raccoons, especially down south, they just call it going coon hunting or something like that. And uh, they made a lot of jokes. A lot of inappropriate jokes on the Twitter. On the Twitter. Why'd you call them a mask face? Because they're little eyes? Yeah, they have a little mask. Oh. They wear a little mask. They're like little bandits. And their little hands work like hands. They open up little things, and they pick it up, and they eat. Oh, they're adorable if they're not in my house. I, uh, if I come in the, in the house, though, and am confronted with a raccoon, uh, I will have to have a uh, person come over to seal up holes that will be in my floor and ceiling because I just will start unloading on it with a firearm in my house. I hope, I hope there's one actually pissing on the fucking trigger of your 50 cal. <laughs> <laughs> Here, there's a picture of a raccoon fucking the fucking family dog. The family dog. Are you kidding me? They, they, will, they, they will do this. I didn't know that. They're, they're that aggressive? They're They'll crazy. go after your family pets. Yes. How humiliating for the dog. <laughs> that <laughs> is. Really. Poor little there. beagle. He's supposed to protect the house. <laughs> and he's getting fucked by the raccoon. She's taking it in the ass. <laughs> That one with his teeth, baring his teeth. Wow. <sighs> Fuck. Would you drown a, a possum though? Because the possum, possums the possum fucking... isn't as uh, isn't as cute. No, they don't wear little masks. They got that weird mouth or like, on their teeth. That thing's always like splattered in the road, and their mouth is always bah, just all busted up. Mm, yeah, look at that. That's a possum. Freaking, yeah, that's, that's a, a possum. Yeah, that possum is fucking. Do they bite? Oh, yeah. What do you think? They're look at those fucking, fucking teeth. Nasty. What do you think they do with those? If you come across a possum that's like being tailed Wipe it by... off. <laughs> <laughs> All animals bite. <laughs> you see little, little, little possums following them? You stay the fuck away because they really are defensive of their little children. They'll turn around and <sighs> they hiss. They make a weird <sighs> hissing sound, possums. They're very frightening. Do they charge you, or are they just... They will if you get too close to uh, their little, chil the little children. I think all animals charge. Did you guys see the, the, the video? Unfortunately, the lady had to run for her life, so, so, you don't, so it didn't, uh, it's not the greatest video. I think it's on break.com, the buffalo, at Yellowstone oh, Park. Really? Huh? Yeah. Charged. Well, they see a nice... Uh, they're in Yellowstone fucking park, and, and all of a sudden they see a buffalo just walking across the parking lot, all nice, just minding its own business. And typical uh, tourists, they had to get a, a closer look. Of course they do. And the, I think the husband wanted to be a tough guy, and he started kind of jogging toward the damn thing. And all of a sudden, it made a noise, turned, and said, fuck you. And, uh, wow, we can't find it, unfortunately. Charged at him. And, and charged at him. <laughs> and then take away his credit card or something. <laughs> <laughs> and then you hear the lady. <laughs> oh, there it is. Look at this. I'm... It's oh. on break. It's a few pages. It's a in, if bison? You want, if you want a, a bison, sorry. A bison? Did I say buffalo? Yeah, I don't know. They're the same thing. Are they okay, so we're in the park. Watch this. And there's a buffalo. In a parking lot. And he's wow. just wandering across the road. Taking his sweet time. He's big. Yeah, it looks like a giant. Just chilling. Like the old days, shoot him out of trains. I can't do it. No, you won't. I got him on. Zoom. I got him on video. Zoom, zoom. I did. What's the dummy gonna do? There's it, Donald running for the buffalo. Uh, oh, the uh, fat he husband is for the fat tourist. This will make Jimmy very his happy. Little shorts. And there's our phone thing. <laughs> this will make Jimmy very happy. The buffalo is off the fucking parking lot in the woods already. Don't, not not Donald, bothering don't. anyone. <laughs> But this dummy has look to get at a closer look. Look at getting gored by the buffalo. Awesome. Yeah. Look at the oh, little shit. He starts bucking and then said, fuck you, and starts running right toward them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's beeping their horn to try to help them. Oh, the woman's getting it. <laughs> I could hear him over She got trampled. Is that the sound of her being trampled? Yeah. You know, I just thought that was 
the, my last moments, I thought, this is going to be my last moment. It's going to be in Yellowstone Park getting tromped by a buffalo. They say stay 100 feet away. We were about 30, 35 feet. So I zoomed in on him, and but that wasn't far enough because they're fast. And they could turn She's all dime. fucked up. She's all fucked up showing her, her really bruised thighs. Matt. I'm not saying I wouldn't go look at it, but I wouldn't walk towards it. But the buffalo jumped up and down on its feet. Yeah, yeah. It was bucking up and down and turned around That's in a, a second was after them. I didn't think a, a buffalo could move like that. They're giant. What, what I love about it was the cocky guy. Like yeah, yeah. everyone wants to get a little closer look. We've all kind of started walking toward wildlife. Absolutely, I, I, I do that when I see deer and shit. It's so dumb to. Do. But he like marched like all cocky, like oh, yeah, yeah. Watch how close I, I get. I got him. But did the buffalo bite her or just run over? What did he it do? Just they, they just over, trample. Yeah. They'll, they'll stomp you they and take their big giant forehead and bash you with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do like uh, they do like that. They try to gore you. Oh, makes you happy, Jimmy. Yeah, because it was so stupid. It was like it was, it was already. It was just mining. Stay in business. the car and look at it, then yeah. drive away or back into it. Plus, they it was got, in the parking lot. They had a great view. They got great video. Yeah, they were uh, easily on um, uh, like what sixty, seventy it's feet hilarious. away. From they had to chase him into the fucking brush uh, wooded area. It didn't kill her though. And uh, no, bruised her up pretty good. That was good. Stomped all over a big, fat, dumb tourist legs. Dumb, wife, dumb husband just left uh, her there. Get back in the car! Get back in the car! Oh, uh, this is a good point. Let's Dummy. go to Ken in uh, Augusta. Ken. Hey, what up, boys? What up, brother? Hey, you know, I'm starting to think with all these animals coming around, maybe we should rename the, the compound the Ark and just start calling Anthony and Noah. Ah. Uh, How many animals you got coming two around? Two but two. You got the raccoons, you got cats, obviously. Raccoons what, and cats. What else uh, have you know seen? He's got mice, he's got it all. You no, think you got think. mice? No, I got a lot of bees. Yeah, see? I got Hello, bees. Noah. Bees. Because yeah, I got Hello, a lot Noah. of flowers. Praise I got Lord, flowers. Noah. Yeah, we got the Noah joke, Ken. Thank you. I, I didn't even hear what you said. <laughs> no, he's. Ken, Jimmy. what'd you say? Oh, Jimmy was reading. Uh, Ken, go ahead. Uh, I, I just think we ought to. I heard you! <laughs> <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> Both of you. <laughs> let's, go to, let's go to Chris in Detroit. Chris. Happy birthday, Jimmy. Oh, it's, um, uh, yeah. It's warm in the tea. <laughs> hey, watch the right side of the video. The, uh, the guy throws something at him. He enticed him. <laughs> oh, is that true? <laughs> yeah, if you watch it, it's like a white piece of board or something. Yeah, before the uh, buffalo freaks out? Yeah, right, right before he freaks out, you oh. can see it kind of fly and hit him in the, in the ass end. Oh, a lot of people are saying that. Guy threw a stick at the Buffalo. One of the TV stations highlight the stick since you can't see it on the regular video. Ah. Yeah. This fucking guy threw a stick? So the guy throws a stick. Can you see this? Let's see. There's the Buffalo. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. what a motherfucker. Ah, you asshole. You can see it hit the yeah. Buffalo's back. Show that to Jimmy it's again. Oh, is this the guy who... What, 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 see that? He threw a stick at it. Yeah, it hits it right in the middle it. of his uh, the side of the <sighs> buffalo. That's what. Why would you throw him. a stick at it? Because fucking humans in general are assholes. Oh, leave the fucking thing alone. So that makes Watch sense. That, the Why the fuck yep. would you throw shit at him? What See a that jerk off. And and the thing just really got angry. That's why it said "fuck you" and turned around. <laughs> it was minding its business, and the yeah. guy had to throw a stick at it. Minding uh. its own beeswax. I think I throw the fucking stick at it. Oh, did he piss that thing off? Wow. What does he think? Like, people think animals are too stupid. It's like, he won't know where the stick came from. <laughs> no, he knew exactly no, where it came from. No, they're fully aware. You dumb motherfucker. That <laughs> buffalo was just jumping for joy at the idea of pouncing his fucking <laughs> He really was <laughs> jumping for joy. <laughs> Buffaloes look stupid before they charge. They really do. They're just <laughs> big. You can almost hear them going, boop, boop, just running. <laughs> God, idiots. <laughs> Look how muscular they are, though. They're strong. Jesus. Oh, what do you, I think so. Crazy strong. I think strong. they bench press a lot. They got a, yeah, a yeah. fine upper body. I hate this fat one tourist. The gym? It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> this big fat I, tourist. Why did he throw a stick I at I throw him? something at the buffalo to get his attention. I love when you go to a zoo, and if the animals are sleeping, you get to see a lot of people... You know, throw little pebbles and rocks oh, yeah, at the animals. Yeah. Try because, to wake them up because they want they need the the animals awake. Hey, you paid good money to get in there. Wake the fuck up. Uh, let's go to Rob in New Hampshire. Rob, hey there, Rob. Hey, guys. Hey, I went up to Sturgis a few years back, and uh, we rode out to Yellowstone. 
And uh, yes. I had my buddy take a picture. I got about 15 feet from a buffalo, turned around, and he snapped the picture. The thing looked up, bucked it up and down like a wild horse, then ran across the street, dropped down, and rolled around on its back like a dog. Scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Why would it do that? I don't know. I'm stupid. Yes. Yeah, Wanted to get stupid. a picture in there, one. It's just stupid. Did you pet the buffalo? No, I didn't pet the buffalo. I, I understand trying to get a little closer to get a nice shot. Yeah, well, look at you know, it. That, it that's about fifteen that's... feet, and it was a little, little too close. But, but this it, asshole it, it, had to throw a stick at it. I would, has he explained why he threw a stick at it? It looks like a tampon he threw at it. Look at it. <laughs> it looks yeah. like a baton or something, right? Yeah, a little board, a little yeah. piece of two by four, four or something. <laughs> yeah, those things get pretty mean. If you look online, I was watching a show once um, when those stupid TV sh reality shows and. Uh, the buffalo actually threw a person nearly 20 feet up into a tree. Oh, wow. shit. <laughs> oh, this guy knows why. Thank you, sir. Uh, this guy knows why he threw the stick. Uh, Mike in Wisconsin. Mike. Mike. Hey, guys. Hey, remember the old gag where you take your wife on a lovely cruise ship and then she accidentally gets thrown off the back of the cruise ship? Ah. Uh. Well, this this loser, he couldn't afford a cruise, and he couldn't find a secluded cliff, so he was begging that fucking <laughs> buffalo to trouble his wife. He was, if, he, if, they really high, if they had a real sensitive microphone, they probably could have heard him mumbling to himself, sweet, kill my wife. Kill yeah. my Go wife. get her. Get this bitch. <laughs> Can you imagine? That's it. Uh, I get like the, that. I like that theory. Get this glum cunt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, why don't we uh, go to Greg in D.C.? Greg. Greg. Good morning, boys. Morning. Uh, I actually got two of them. One Opie probably heard of when he was up in Buffalo. Um, the best one, though, is when you type in alligator fail on YouTube, you get to see dummies who supposedly train alligators shove their entire arms inside an alligator. Oh, yeah, I've seen that one. Yeah, well, there's a whole bunch of them. But, uh, whole bunch of uh, trainers getting bit? Where the guy uh, gets his arm pretty much twisted off, yeah. Yeah, it goes into a death uh, row. Mm -hmm. But when uh, when you were up in Buffalo, I've got family up there, and we used to go to Canada every year. And I'm, yeah, did you ever hear about the people who go to the dumpsters at night in the summertime? Oh, for the bears? Watch, yes. Yeah. What? I've seen that one? You never heard about that, Opie? No, I really haven't. T uh, talk me through it. Oh no! These dummies will go to dumpsters in the middle of the summer, just families in their cars, and will sit in front of dumpsters or big, just uh, lots of, like, landfills. And bears will come and start eating, and these people will turn on their lights, and they'll put food on top of their car, yeah. hoping to entice a bear to come to their car. Anyone have video of this? And when the bear comes to the oh, car, YouTube. they stand up on their hind legs and start pushing in the windows. Wow. Yep. Like, boom, boom, really, really strong. i got to be honest. I think I would do that. You would do that? Yeah. I, I, I think I would that do that. Without a weeping. I, you know, I'm not perfect. I think I would do that. I would, I would fucking drive up to a dumpster and watch the bears. Oh my! I don't know if I would put the food on my yeah, car. car. That sounds completely crazy. Yeah, it's the dummies who put sandwiches and candy bars and things on top of. You've heard car. of this ant? Oh yeah, seen a thing of it uh, on 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 the television. Hmm. He saw it on the television. And then the last <laughs> one is, uh... Well, Jimmy and Voss used to watch the rats when they were coming home from the comedy clubs. Yeah, that's we creepy. would put uh, peanut butter uh, Reese's cups on the ground. On Voss's balls. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then I would lick them off with a rat hat on. <laughs> I just had a hat with two little ears on it. <laughs> <laughs> and we would park up in the 70s, where there's now the subway station. Yep. And we would watch the rats. We would just put, there would be like 10 or 15 of them on the So garbage. many of them would come out yeah, of that. infested. Those little areas, those little median strips. Uh, they're all strips. over in New York. The median oh. strips in New York City where you have like the grass and like the, the foliage. Yeah, it's always rats in that. Because it, people are just throwing like yeah, uh, shit, food man. and yep. shit. They're done eating. It's and they a, can it's hide a, there. It's a perfect place to just throw yeah. your shit. You see it rattling around. Like, like yeah, the, 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 gr the, the grass, grass or whatever. Is moving. The, the weeds. And it's uh, rats. Yep. Bunch of rats. I'd hate to have rats. Oh, God. They're giant, creepy. Thank you, Greg and DC. How big are possums? No problem. They're as big as rats. Possums are bigger than rats. Aren't they bigger? Oh, they're bigger than rats? Yeah, they're like, you they're know, like small dogs. A couple of feet long. Hmm. We got two footer. They kill little kittens and stuff, too. Like With their they're... nasty tails, too. They got that nasty, hairless fucking rat tail. Oh, there's a good one. There's a possum that was made good. <laughs> Give a oh, that video tire went right over his midsection. They're so fucking dumb. Yeah. 
They're constantly being run over. You see a lot of dead possums. What if road. anybody has them as pets? Because they are mammals. Aren't most mammals make make petable? I don't know. A possum is a just possum. It, first of all, it's ugly as sin, and then secondly, I think they're just nasty. I don't think they could really be trained. I mean, if you have it from possum birth, yeah, I think too many instincts to to weed out to domesticate them. Oh, like right. raccoons too are the same thing. You know, they're they're cute. People would like them, but they're just they're nasty animals. Really creepy. Think it'd be hard to have a koala bear as a pet? Ugh, what or a, a panda? Yeah. What an annoyance. Just slowly. Koala bear would slowly ruin your house. They <laughs> right. move all slow, <laughs> but he'd slowly like rip the arm off your couch. and you would be going, no, stop it. It's just chewing your table legs. <laughs> but real slow. Are they slow? <laughs> yeah, they're very oh my slow. God, they're fucking they just kind of a pain move in the ass. around their little eucalyptus trees. <laughs> it's like, hurry up already. They never have coughs. AJ in Utah. <laughs> AJ. Hey, morning, boys. Morning. I have two Hello. For you. Um, I'm not a fan of the two things, by the way, when you call a radio exactly. show. Exactly. How about one and then we'll yeah. vote? Yeah, you choose one solid thing and fucking say it and get the hell Go out. with it. Okay. All right, go with the two things. Maybe I'm wrong. A couple of years ago, uh, family and I went up to uh, Yellowstone, and there was a herd of about 30 to 40 buffalo crossing the road. And this jackass behind me started blowing his horn to speed them up and make them cross the road faster. And two of them turned, thought it was me, and charged at my car. <laughs> ah, that guy fucked you good. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, and you know, I mean, the fuckers weigh you know a thousand, fifteen hundred pounds, and the one it just like took about four steps and stopped. The other one actually rammed the side of my car took out a fender and my mirror and my one window. It's like being hit by a car. It's like Demolition Derby. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. Hey, and, uh, you know, raccoons will kill a dog. Uh, we had one kill my neighbor's dog. It actually smothered the dog. And this was like a big German shepherd. The dog smothered it? What did it do? How did it the, do that? It actually, using its claws, the, the two had gotten into a fight. The raccoon was able to get the dog to the ground. And actually wrapped its claws around the dog's muzzle. Wow, that's fucking like murderous. That's no, prison shit. No kidding. That's yeah. raccoon prison no, shit. He, he cracked a little gas balloon over the dog's head and <laughs> burned him. <laughs> Jesus. All right, Damn. All right, man. Uh, Whitey in Illinois. We're, hey, we're, Whitey. We're learning about nature today to start the show. What do you got, Whitey? Good morning, gentlemen. I, uh, when I was a kid, I lived across the road from a farmer who had cattle. And uh, me and my friend, when I was about, about 10 years old, a friend of mine and I walked over because he had a dead cow in the yard. It was kind of wintertime. It was a little chilly. And you know how kids are. We started poking this fucking cow with a stick, and it starts moving. And uh, come to find out, there was a possum inside it. Uh, possums are scavengers. They would crawl inside of this cow because it was partially warm. What part and of the cow? The asshole? Ugh. Yeah, they crawl inside the asshole and they <laughs> eat their way around the inside of the cow. That's pretty fucking sick. You really want one of those for a pet, Jimmy? I hate to kiss a possum after he's eating cow asshole. <laughs> cow ass. <laughs> cow there's, bung. There's your pet possum. <laughs> I guarantee you somebody somewhere feeds him in the country. Oh, I'm sure. And has a bunch of them and raccoons. And I guarantee you there's at least there's, there's somebody who has some kind of relationship with these shitty animals. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Any animals, shitty animals, especially unless they're like fucking uh, Komodo dragons, a mammal especially recognizes, I think, who's feeding it. And yeah. Yeah, but unless it's a lion who's going to attack you. But eventually it gets hungry and, and you don't know that, so it starts eating you. Well, that's not what I'm saying. Unless it's a lion or you a You've got to really figure out its eating schedule, or guess what? You're, you're going to be in deep trouble. But if it's a small arm like a possum, I mean, possums can't kill you, and neither can a raccoon. It would be really annoying if oh. it starts gnawing at you, though. But they they are very um, rabid these days. Uh. Yeah, raccoons, uh, especially out on Long Island, they've had a lot of cases of rabid raccoons. Um, the one I saw walking around my house didn't look a little crazy or rabid or anything, but... Um, but it was daytime. Yeah. Now, it, which is cool, I could look at my security cameras and look at the trap. So um, I'll keep everybody updated. <laughs> when you catch another cat. Uh, yeah, wh when I see a cat go in there. <laughs> yeah. All right. M maybe one more here. This guy. Uh, yeah, one more. So, actually, this is what uh, Jimmy was just saying about how, mm. how, you know, if you're the guy feeding the animals, uh, can you domesticate them, right? Yeah. Or, at least, or at least if you have a barn or whatever. 
not be bitten by them or interact with them on some level where they recognize you. Spike the trucker. Spike, you got one? Yeah, a buddy of mine, he raised the buffalo that you see in the movie uh, Radio Flyer, and also he was in a commercial. I think it was like an insurance commercial or some shit. But the way he, the way he got this buffalo to move around at will was he, he'd hand-feed him Oreos ever since he was a pup. And uh, it got to the point where you would just crinkle that plastic Oreo package, and this buffalo would come running from across the fucking yard at full gallop right towards you and stop right right in front of you, and you give him an Oreo. Oh, that's, that's kind of cute. That is adorable. So wait, so he would hold his hand out flat, and the buffalo would just stupidly eat an Oreo out of it? <laughs> Dumb. Oh, Dumb. yeah. It was just, it was just like, a, like a dog. The thing would just come running up to you at a full fucking gallop and then just just stop right in front of you waiting for his Oreo. Oh, how cute. How big was it? Uh, I think it got up to like 2,500 pounds. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, that's a car. God, would the buffalo let you car. pet it? Would he let you pet him? Yeah, he just he just stand there and look at you, you know, big brown eyes, just you know, huge fucking horns. He he would uh, he had these uh, tires, these big old diesel truck tires laying out in his corral, and uh, he would hook them with his horn and just fling them up in the air. These things weigh over a hundred pounds, <laughs> yes. and these things would just go sailing through the fucking yeah. sky. People don't understand how strong those fucking things are. But if are. you crinkled the Oreo package, he would come over. Would he Would he be aggressive for the food or just wait for you to hold it out? No, it, it, it was a really unnerving sight. Um, you know, I, I, I didn't do it, but I would watch him do it. Is there any video of this? Yeah, really. Um, I don't know. I'd have to call him up. He's up in Alaska. Uh, oh, all right. I'd have to see. I don't think the buffalo is still alive anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I think somebody he probably shot him. at me. To, he gained his trust in him in bison burgers. <laughs> <laughs> well, him over the no, head with a hammer. Yeah. <laughs> Crinkle that bison plastic. <laughs> and there's a there's uh, I don't know if you know this, but uh, buffalo are the only uh, creatures that grizzly bear are afraid of. I actually I mean, know. Yeah. buffalo are the gnarliest fucking animals on the planet. Well, in the North America. Why, why would a bear be afraid of a, a buffalo? Fucking things are huge, man. They're just and then they giant. Well, bears are fucking the power that ridiculous. those bison have, though, to to right. just wail yeah, their they... head into you. It's it's like getting hit by a cannon. Yeah, man, one of those fucking big horns would gore a grizzly bear yeah. nicely. But bears could fucking exactly. use their arms. Yeah, yeah, but use Legs, their arms against the what? Look at the fucking front half of that thing. You, that fur, you can't get through that. Even a bear would have a problem getting through that fucking shit. But don't lions eat buffalo on the range? They love buffalo, but they get them from the side, no. a bunch of them. Yeah. No, there ain't so, no I don't think there's... taking down a full-grown buffalo. And Wait, what are they... There's, there's, like, water buffalo that they take down in, Isn't that uh, that? in Africa. No, those no, are, like, they're... the American buffalo, which are a little different. Oh. Water buffalo have those weird... It looks like they got that weird hairdo <laughs> where they got that... The, the little fucking Chrissy from Three's Company hairdo. Well, the amazing Buffalo video, which has one, one copy of it has 54 million views, one copy has 8 million views. You've seen this video? Which yeah, one? Yeah, With the, the Buffalo in Africa? Oh, look at this shit. Oh, they take it down. See, that's a smaller. It doesn't have as, uh, as much protection around its... Um, oh, look at these fucking... Jesus. Around its front. She's yeah, taking them out. Those, there's like three females oh, he's on just... top of this fucking water buffalo. One's got it by the nose... One by the neck, another one by the scruff of its neck and in already, the back. They're already eating it. And they're just, whoa! And the buffaloes. Oh, it just <laughs> fucking, like, gored one of the lions. Picked him up by but the But they horn. got his neck. They're hold, the lion is holding its neck. Yeah, yeah. All right, that lion kind of backed off. And there's two more trying to just... They just try to eat it and hope it stands still. <laughs> and he's, he's bucking lions off it. Yeah, that lion And got now the buffalo up. is down. And now there are four lions... Eating the shit out of this buffalo. It's still alive, and they just... Yeah, that lion got fucked up. That one's walking away all Look, fucked up. Those lions win. There's fucking... When four lionesses... Oh, that, yeah. that one got gored. Gored in the gored fucking... Really. One, one of the lions got gored, but yeah. they did kill the buffalo. <clears throat> Damn. Hey, uh, Spike, thanks strong. for the phone call. If it takes four you fucking it, lions to bring that thing down. Unbelievable. It's amazing. All right, uh, oh, we got a girl that uh, had Discovery a, Channel had a pet raccoon. Oh, let's talk to yeah, her. I would love to know. You want to talk about yeah, her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, uh, let me say hi. On your clit. Actually, it's Don in Nevada. Don, <laughs> a marshmallow hey guys, up your pussy. You hey, buddy. oh, it's a guy. Big. I know. Just let it sit there with his little tongue. <laughs> <laughs>
A lot of people had pet raccoons. They're stupid. Holy shit, we got six fucking pet raccoon stories. Don, you're representing everyone. We can't take six uh, pet raccoon Is this stories. Is Don on the phone? I'll, I'll take them all. Uh, yeah, I was up in Wyoming, a little town. A girl had a pet raccoon on a, on a little collar and a leash walking around in the park. And I went up and talked to her, and she would pick it up by the scruff of the neck and point a finger at it and say, bad, and he'd put his little raccoon pants over his eyes and hide. And Aww. It's just, just adorable. That's adorable right there. Got to tell you. So they're trainable, I guess, like most mammals. Yeah. She had, it was the mother had gotten run over by a car. It was in the spring, so she went looking around in the ditch and found two little babies, and one of them died, and the other oh, one boy. she kept for a pet. There you go. Really cool. There yeah, you maybe go. for raise them for one of the little babies, but they still got that instinct in them, and they're very wild. But they don't know you're not a raccoon. They're dumb. Like, dogs think you're a dog, those assholes. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> yeah, they think that you're a more, a more powerful dog. You're yeah, the alpha yeah. dog. Yeah. That's why they listen to you. That's why the dog whisperer always tells you to, you know, act like the alpha dog when your dog is acting up. And they'll just fucking calm their shit down because they're like, all right, you're the boss. You showed me. They don't know. They Back don't know mentality. that we're terrified of them. Yeah. <laughs> they just know that we're they're, they're stupid, and we make them guard our used car lots. <laughs> <laughs> our junkyards. <laughs> they watch shit for us. <laughs> watch this. I'm going away. Yeah. Stand here and don't shit on the rug. <laughs> this weekend, uh, Anthony won. Congratulations. Raccoons zero. Oh. You caught a raccoon? Caught did you? me a raccoon. Down I gotta at make the believe house. I didn't see the picture. Yeah, I know. The, I the picture was amazing. He set up the raccoon traps in his backyard, and guess what? He got one. There. Look <laughs> at the little guy. Oh! Isn't He's he cute. adorable? Do you put your finger through and go like chuka chuka on his chin? No. Let me tell you what I did. What? I I went close with the camera um, to try to. Uh, get a close picture of him and he he scared me <laughs> did he cuz he made a funny funny sound but wasn't he in the cage uh yeah but it it still scared you dude it scared me 20 times each time i tried to get close to the uh Do you have video? cage yeah okay uh, here's some sound from him let me see if i could look at the cute raccoon look how cute he is watch this what's the sound Hi. Fuck that. <laughs> he went, Rah! Fuck and, that. And I pulled back so fast. I was like, ah! Even shit. though he's in a cage, right? <laughs> and then there's the <laughs> shot that makes PETA mad. <laughs> Is PETA on your case? A couple of people actually were. A couple PETA people? Thought, thought I was actually going to pull the trigger. Oh, really? He's yeah. going to pull a fucking the uh, trigger on a 50 cal that's uh, literally six to eight inches away from a raccoon's face. Away from his little face. The funny thing is he's looking directly into the barrel. <laughs> it would be so funny, though, if that cage door just opened up how fast you would run. <laughs> I know. How worthless that gun would be. <laughs> it would just be, be a stick for him. running. It would be a stick for him to run on and get to your eyes faster. <laughs> Dude, that's a pretty good sized raccoon. Yeah, yeah, he was a big guy. He's cute though. It, it, they're adorable. They got little masks on, like a little criminal. Stop stealing things, guys. No, stop. He must have. Uh, when I saw him the next day, because he, he must have been caught overnight. Um, the cage is spun around 180 degrees from where it was. Oh, yeah, so yeah. he must have been losing his fucking he mind in out. there for a while. By this point, he was plum tuckered out. Because uh, when I saw him, he was laying down, kind of in a little circle. With his little hand over his eyes, like, oh, God, you got me. Jeez. It was all bumming. So what finally happened from there? Um, you, yeah. you have him in a cage. Now, where do you release him? Uh, in uh, the next-door neighbor's basement, <laughs> just to, for shenanigans. Uh, the, the exterminator comes and drives him to some happy place very no, far he away. No, doesn't. Yes, they do. It's That's... a happy place, raccoon place, very far uh, away. Do they you're... kill them? Uh, what do you think? You I think the exterminator's really, d d d you know, spending uh, an afternoon to do, do the they, right thing? They took Mr. Jangle down to the, the, the raccoon circus down there in Florida. 
Where do they, uh, <laughs> and, and if you're an exterminator, I bet you there's a lot of laws you have to follow that you can't just be letting ra- just raccoons it. you catch loose somewhere else on Long Island. In the woods, that I mean. thing is dead. Here's the re- only reason I think he's an upstanding guy and pays attention to the laws. Well, because you you're not him? allowed to kill him. Did you ask him? No, I don't want to know what's going to happen. This fucking thing. He's dead. He's cute. The raccoon. But dead. here's the reason it's a lot why. Easier that way. They, for they've him. they've gotten into my attic at some point. Right. He he didn't put the traps in the attic because then the raccoon can go in, get stuck in the trap, and the attic gets 130 degrees, and the raccoon dies. So he and then your house it. stinks. He doesn't want to go up there and get it out of a stinky house. Well, not uh, the next day. It's not going to stink the next day, but he'd be dead. So he takes him to the Happy Raccoon Release Grounds, very far away in the country. Yeah, I wonder if there's a place in the woods where they do take him, where they just they're not going to get back to people. Why would they do that? Because they might have to buy law. If they have to buy law, you're not going to lose your business over it. Like, it might be a thing they have to do. All I hope but is no he one's dropped looking. What them off. Th- what do you think the guy did with the raccoon? I hope he dropped him off I hope south he dropped of the expressway, south of the fucking uh, uh, parkway, Problem is and it. south of a lot of other roads where he would get Look, squished trying to get back to my house. I think we have a pretty big radio show. Come on, exterminators. Tell me what happens to the oh, raccoons. We're going to hear a bunch of stories Tell about. Tell me about the raccoons and where you th- where you take them. I don't. Here it is. I don't think there's anywhere you could take them on Long Island legally. Oh, don't, here's what happens. I was an exterminator, and uh, we, my whole family exterminates, and we're exterminators. Uh, they take the trap. There's a 55 gallon drum full of water to, uh, behind our fucking shop, and we just lower the trap in there and wait. You know, five, ten minutes. Lift it up. And that's it. He's gone. We fucking dig, put him in a ditch and, and bury him. That's Couldn't it. be helped. Couldn't be helped. I think your raccoon is dead, Ann. And it's over. And that's that. Yeah, d- Frank in New York, what does the word exterminate mean? Relocate. No, it they <laughs> relocated the little guy. I called a relocator. Oh, sweetie, You're, he's so cute. I don't want anything bad to have happened to him. I know you. You could see like a, a Hollywood star playing his voice. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Look at his little eyes. He's got the little mask on. Oh my God! Let me uh, let me go. Oh, gonna... look at him. You really think that raccoon is still alive? Yes, oh. he's fine. He Where? was not happy to see you. No. <laughs> Where on Long Island do they take the raccoons? I, I'm, they take them out to the Pine Barrens. I got people. Nashville isn't going to help me, uh, Chris. Chris in Nashville, go ahead. <clears throat> yeah, um, we had a service from um, getting some raccoons off of our farm, and they quote unquote relocated them. About two weeks later, we found because my wife's a uh, uh, she loves animals. Mm-hmm. Two weeks later, we find out they relocated them to a dog training facility to be used to train coon dogs to hunt. See, that's where the raccoons go, Ant. Well, that's down there. You, there's not much coon hunting going on here. You're personally responsible for the death of a raccoon. No! Hope you feel good about yourself. A no, guy that he's, he's loses adorable. his mind, mind when he sees little kittens on TV. He, I know, I do. And uh, you, tell me you're not losing your mind over the cute raccoon. I was sitting on the stoop there, uh... uh Next to the cage, just talking to him until the exterminator got there. <laughs> nice buzz. I was like, hi, little guy. <laughs> nice buzz. I was... <laughs> Jesus. Well, I had a couple of beers, but I was talking to him. It was fun. I was like, don't worry. Did you feed him little... You're okay, little guy. Did you feed him little treats? No, I wasn't getting near him because he made that <laughs> sound. That's I wonder what he would have done <laughs> if you gave him a little treat to eat. He would fucking bite my fingers and I'd have rabies. No, yeah. if you just slipped into the cage. I don't mean... Oh. You ever get... Well, there are little treats in there for him. They're little marshmallows. That's oh. the bait. They like marshmallows? marshmallows and peanut Love butter. and And then, like, some big meaty bone was in there. And Lucky E-Rock didn't get caught in there. <laughs> Come out. <laughs> E-Rock's in my trap. <laughs> just his little fat head. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, that's funny. That, the noise it made, though. Wow. Yeah, it barked. It did that like three I, times, and every time I pulled away like a fairy. I got way too close to a ra- uh, raccoon. A rat once. You should hear what a rat could rat. sound like when it feels like it's trapped. Yeah, like these animals make these weird the noises. Fuck out of you. Yeah, they come up with these noises that you just you think they're silent animals, <laughs> and then they're barking at you. Uh, uh, you know what? I want to know where the raccoons go on Long Island because we all know Long Island. There's not many spots left where you could just release raccoons. At way out east, the it's, Pine Barrens. So you think your guy is gonna is gonna waste a half a day of work to bring raccoons into? Maybe he's got a bunch of raccoons from a bunch of other houses, and he he takes them out there and and goes, okay. And what do you think? Bye bye. I, I, bye bye. You're playing this perfectly, but what, really, what do you think happens to these poor things? I honestly. Think they release you want, them you want an honest, honest uh, yes. answer? 
I don't know. I just don't know. Why don't know. you call him and ask him? But I, I, but he said he releases them. Like, I, I already asked but him. But where does he release them? I didn't ask, but I guess I'll ask. And if he's releasing the raccoons in the same area, there's going to be a lot of raccoons in this one area. Hopefully your Making front yard. a lot more fucking raccoons. <laughs> my front yard. So you have something to do next week and come back and recatch it. You should have read the fine print. We catch the raccoon and release it in your front yard. Or in your toilet, so he bites out your asshole and balls. And he calls his brother the doctor. Is this, a, is this an angry raccoon getting released? For free. Yeah. It might be a good idea. Are this a raccoon being released? Yes. Okay. He's going to just open the cage. Oh, fuck. What's going to happen? 30,000 views. Something happens. You think? Oh, yeah. There you open it up the little raccoon trap. All right. He's ready to... Come on. This looks a lot like your raccoon. Here. Yeah, he does. Wait a minute. Maybe it's mine. Dump him out. Huh? What the fuck was that? What <laughs> <laughs> the fuck was that? <laughs> the hell was that? Raccoon's still in the cage. Go, hey. homie. Go. Come on, back up. Dumb back animal. Up, back up. No, turn around, asshole. <laughs> Tip it up. Oh my god, fuck that. He's all mad. They make piggy noises. <laughs> oh, there he goes. He just ran off. He was a little angry at first. Uh, he ran into a tree. He was climbing a tree. He ain't gonna sit there and duke it out. No. It's a fucking raccoon. So I don't know what happens to him, but uh, I, I assume he takes him somewhere and lets him go to live all, out his little raccoon life. You don't even want to know where the raccoons go. Why? Ugh. Phone calls are brutal. Are they? Yes. I don't like the thinking. Right, this guy used to be uh, an exterminator. Uh, I knew Ed this in Pennsylvania. Huh? Ed. How's it going? Hey. Uh, yeah, I used to trap raccoons and all that other fun, every other animal. And what we used to do was uh, we trap them, and people would ask, we'd say, oh, yeah, we let them free. And by uh, state law here in Pennsylvania, they have to be put down because you can't put, say, that raccoon had rabies. Now you're transporting the rabies virus to a different part of your uh, state or county. Mm -hmm. So we used to have a CO2 canister that we used to have to put them in, and then we'd turn it on nice and slow, and they would just freeze, and uh, we'd remove them from there. After we, you know, out of the trap. So that's pretty much what we yeah, do. I don't You'd think you... freeze them with CO2? Yeah, because we used to have a 55 gallon drum with the water. Jesus. But uh, the humane services said that was, uh, it was inhumane to put them in, to dunk them. So we so, had to uh, go to a little gas chamber for so, them. So Ant's little raccoon is now dead, right? Yeah, pretty much. He's pretty much. Uh, oh, Ant. No. Oh, Ant. How do you live with yourself? I don't want him. <laughs> Guy just wanted some marshmallows. How do you it's live with he... yourself? Little fellow wanted a marshmallow. I was chatting with him. You know, <laughs> he, probably, he probably thought you'd be all, it'd be okay. If if yeah. your exterminator was a smart guy, I know where you were joking about putting it in your front yard, but I would release it in the neighborhood a few houses down. You but, know how much re repeat business you would get in the neighborhood. Well, all for the true, same fucking you know? raccoon. I never, I never thought about that. He Knowing probably... like neighbors and general talks, also like I fucking got a raccoon. Pro really? Well, I yeah, called I this one. guy. Yeah, call this guy. He, I got a number. <laughs> he just keeps and he just it's it. the same raccoon. <laughs> just it's his pet, <laughs> right? He like knows where to tell it to go to certain places. And... Just keeps dumping it two houses down, two houses oh, down. Brilliant. Hey, wait, can we, Danny has angry raccoon, a vicious. I want to hear. Is it? Can you hear it? Yeah. It, it, it just or it just ant noise. It it does make like these piggy sounds. It's very strange. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hello. You want these DVDs? <laughs> <laughs> guy's trying to feed it on a, something on a stick some meat. <laughs> Dummy. <laughs> oh Jesus! Can you imagine? <laughs> Fuck that. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's kind of a. Is that what you heard? Snorting. In your yard? Kind of a... <laughs> kind of a bark. <laughs> you guys just taunting it. Oh, look at his little face. <laughs> oh, shit. That will fuck you up. Yeah. And they got them little sharp teeth. Like a fucking a serrated knife. You would... That thing would just lay right into that you. That would hurt so much. Oh. And you know how infected it would get? Even if it doesn't have rabies. It would get so fucking infected. Oh, look at that. I think raccoon teeth are dirty. Oh, they're filthy. Just eating rotting garbage all day. 
licking his raccoon balls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his dirty raccoon asshole. His raccoon shit in it. Oh, it's just garbage coming out of his ass. Caked, caked with raccoon duty. <laughs> I would hate to get raccoon duty in my eyelashes. <laughs> <laughs> Why would that happen ever? It would be so hard to blink it out. <laughs> Let's say hi to uh, Chris in Miami. Chris. Yeah, hello. I just want to say um, I'm surprised that Anthony's so mean to the raccoon. Anthony yeah. loves cute animals, man. He can't get enough of them. Wait, why are you surprised he's humane to uh, to uh, the raccoon? Well, I just figured that he wouldn't like them because they're filthy animals. That all they do is steal and uh, bring out the property value. <laughs> okay. What is property value? Property. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have I have a problem with my mouth. What's oh. wrong with your mouth? <laughs> what's, what's, what's wrong with your mouth, sir? Nothing. I just. I, I, I have think a weird you. Tongue. I think he was hoping no one would notice. You have a uh, weird tongue? Yeah, I'm sorry. What's no, it's the, okay, man. What's oh, wrong with your no. tongue? I'm apologizing. <laughs> no, what's wrong with your tongue, sir? No, nothing. I just bite it down a lot by accident, and I, it hurts. Do you have a big tongue? Is that what it is, sir? Are you a big, a big tongued man? Uh. Hello? Yes. Did this, <laughs> you can hurt your ears, too? <laughs> we have this guy really apologizing for his own tongue? He's like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> he oh. should say he's sorry. I just wanted I'm to contribute sorry. to the I'm show. I'm sorry, it brings the show down. Oh, oh the poor Jesus. guy. I feel worse hey, hey, for you than my right yeah. Hey, John Merrick tongue, what's the matter with oh, it? Oh, come on, man. <laughs> I thought he was, I just thought he was fucking Cuban or something. Oh, it's giant tongue. I am Cuban, but... Uh, oh, um, very good. All right. Good call. Yeah, it's just that right. yeah, but normal Cuban people don't talk See, like I, me. So. No, I just thought it was your accent, but Jimmy uh, noticed that it was your big fucking tongue. Yeah, well, you know, the guy mentioned that it was his thick, and what, freakish tongue. And yeah. wants the world to know. Why do you bite down on it so much? Yeah, stop doing that. You hungry? It's no, it's just giant. my accent. Every once in a while, I bite down on the inside of my mouth, but... It's just giant is what it is. You can't oh. keep Try biting, biting your own it. tongue right now. It's not easy. I mean, you can, you know, do it on purpose. I'll, but don't, I mean, don't just do this. Like Duvall, Duvall and Sling Blade. I'm the boy named Carl. I'll punch you out, boys. All right. All right, I'm sorry that we had to point out your tongue thing. Yeah, sorry about that. Sorry, God did that to you. As you should. He's a big fan. Thank you very much. All right. All right, take it easy, big tongue show owner. Jesus. BTSR. All right. Go go back to fucking your day job, which is licking 400 stamps at a time. <laughs> All right, fucking human frog. <laughs> go back to catching lots of flies at once. <laughs> Poor guy. All right, hey, Gene Simmons, thanks for calling in. Appreciate it. <laughs> He's afraid Jews are always trying to eat his tongue. <laughs> I caught another raccoon over the... Uh, oh, you weekend. did? Yes, that's two down. Unless it was the same one. I'm just thinking the exterminator guy takes it away for a few days. Brings it back. Puts an empty trap there with some bait in it, and then just sneaks back in and switches the cage back again with the raccoon in it. And I'm like, oh, look, another one. It's like, well, we'll keep getting them. That's very cool. You got two. Yeah, this one was a lot more fun. He was very angry. We ever very upset. Did you ever learn where the uh, raccoons go? No, I, I don't see the guy that takes them away. Yeah. He shows up for a very brief period of time, goes by the side of the house and just grabs the cage and... And uh, loads them in the truck, and, and off they go to a to a better place, I believe. A happy place. A nice big field way out east, uh, Long Island, probably, in the Pine Barrens. Sure. Or somewhere um, out, out by the Hamptons. That's where they dump the raccoons with rabies. Yeah, I'm sure Long Island allows that. No, the raccoons. They're dead. They take them to the raccoon circus down there in Florida. <laughs> raccoon circus. <laughs> The raccoon circus. Mr. Jangles go down there to raccoon circus. Goes, what would they do to Mr. Jangles? <laughs> Mr. Jangles? Percy stepped on him. That's funny. But, you know, the big black guy with the flies that came out of his mouth made him better. Mr. Jangles. Good old Mr. Jangles. <laughs> I got a story about an asshole. You want to hear about an asshole? What? This fucking asshole, isn't it? Yes, did you call? <laughs> I thought I heard my name. 